All right, let's talk J. Cole's seven-minute drill off the Might Delete Later project. Before we get started, smash that like button. It don't cost you nothing. So here are my points. J. Cole is doing what he's supposed to do. But I'm noticing a lot of people have revisionist history. What am I speaking on? Let's start with To Pimp a Butterfly. That album embodied everything from concepts to stories, creativity, live instrumentation. It was thought-provoking. You know, the very things that most people state are missing from today's game. And being that objectivity is lacking, we want to act like that album was whack now. Knock it off. Once again, J. Cole is doing what he's supposed to do. Set a narrative. But it doesn't mean you have to have revisionist history and fall for it. Secondly, are warning shots the new subliminals? Just asking. Because people are looking for a fascinating beef between these two or three, depending upon who elects to uh, participate. But it's lacking one major piece, or maybe two, a captivating storyline or a protagonist who can carry the story. Think of all the exceptional beefs or hip hop drama throughout the course of uh, the history of hip hop. There's always been a story attached to it outside of music. For the most part, this doesn't have that. It's just two great rappers who we want to see clash. But the story isn't very captivating. And I think we're setting ourselves up for failure because we want something that maybe these two just can't provide. Also, pundits out there, pundits, the media, or just fans in general. We're supposed to be neutral to a certain degree, right? Everybody has their bias. You have their favorite MCs, but constructive criticism shouldn't be placed at one party. What do I mean by that? Some of you are coming across as compromised or even bought at times, man, because the rule changes are ridiculous. Kendrick need to come outside. You know, he got to respond and then he needs a great album. Because he can't live off the past work. Now, I understand that. I'm a big fan of artists remaining active to a certain degree, right? When you're inspired. But the same thing some of you use against Kendrick are the very tools you use to uplift someone like Andre 3000, his previous work. Which one is it? Let's figure out what it's going to be and allow that to be the standard and the rule instead of changing the rules depending upon whether or not you like the artist. Objectivity, ladies and gentlemen. Take your personal feelings out of it and let's start rating the music on the music. Lastly, the number one spot. What does that mean? So Kendrick fell off. That's what y'all say. He's inactive. But if he wins this battle, he's the best of the generation. Come on, fam. That don't even make sense. That, that doesn't make sense. So as a fan, someone who supports music, Kendrick and J. Cole, or even Drake for that matter, just rap. Because more than likely, no matter what you do, the way the game is set up now, it won't move people off their square. They'll always stay in their respective corners, supporting the artists that they like. Never being objective, because it's not about the music. For most people, it's about personal feelings. And that's lame. Let me know what you think below. Hey, yo, 